Greetings and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Catherine of Sky and in our factory we need something called yellow science. Now there's two things that I would love to do first however uh, and one of them is make better fuel for ourselves. We are currently using graphite which is pretty good but it's not good enough. Uh, we're going to start using something called fuel rods and there are several of these. The first one you get is called the hydrogen fuel rod, which is going to give us a lot more power and it gives us much better fuel chamber generation percent. You can see it's 200%, whereas the graphite is only 60%. Um, they stack, I think, to 30 um, and they have much more energy than the graphite. So we're going to set that up first. Uh, but as you probably have noticed, we've already run out of silicon and we only have a tiny bit of titanium. Now we're going to use this titanium for the fuel rods for now, I think, um, because the rest of what we need to do is uh, yellow science, but that's going to be needing a lot more titanium. So uh, let me see. I want to go over here and get the hydrogen. And I think what I want to do for these fuel rods is just steal the hydrogen from the belt wholesale. We're going to be thieves in the night here and just have this as our personal box. Well, it's got to be personal because there's nobody else here to take from the box. <laughs> and, and that's what's going to happen. Okay, so let's get our hydrogen thingy thingies and we're going to need an inbox and an outbox and let's see I can probably I'll just take one here or put one there I should say and I know that somebody a few people actually mentioned that I might have issues with uh, some kind of sorters or something that was not connected so let's get, let's get this going let's get our power pole in here and fill this with titanium because we need titanium and those things to fill the box. And we'll pick up some of that or all of that. Yeah, we can get it all. Good, good. And let's see, we had an issue. Okay, here's this sorter going into where? Hmm. I think it was supposed to go here. And this one Yes, I think that that is the issue right there. Okay. Yeah, because it's not getting any more of these things. Okay. And we're going to have to make a run to the other planet to grab some more titanium. Okay, this is much better. Yes. Uh, very good. So we have 109 of those. We probably could use some more. We'd love to get some more belts. Let's put these back in this box. The old ones. And exchange it for a set of new ones. So there we go. And I'm going to just put the titanium in here for the stuff, but I'm going to limit that container. I don't want to have like mountains of this fuel. Usually I like to have, I don't know, four on me and then four spare. So eight, eight should be plenty enough. What else do we need here? Oh, I put the thing on the wrong, put it on the wrong belt. Okay. That's okay though. No worries. We are fun. We are just fun. There we go. All right, so um, we can uh, actually uh, research a couple of technologies. This is a magnetic particle trap. This is one of the things we need for the inter uh, the planetary logistics system. Uh, and I believe it is also for the interstellar one as well. So we'll activate this and get that research. And then we have this one, the reinforced thruster, which is just red science, surprisingly. Let's see if there's anything else we can unlock with just red and blue science. I don't think so. I think we kind of went through this last time. That's blue, yellow. Ah, yes, we can get the accumulators. Might as well. And then the titanium alloy. Yeah, this is what we want to do when we get yellow science is get this one first, then our logistics system. And then we can get this one to get the gas giant exploitation. I think that's a really good sequence of stuff so that we can start tapping the gas giant planet nearby. So let's see how fast this has gone. Um, actually, we don't need this yet. Silly me. Uh, this is going to run in the background and we are going to instead make some other stuff. Uh, and I've looked at the map here and I think this area here, because it has coal and crude oil, is going to be a good place to make yellow signs. 
So we're going to go down here and start making the things. Let's see. Where are we? There we are. Okay, so we're a little bit further south. Because for yellow science, we need two different crystal-y things. Titanium crystals, which is yellow crystals and the titanium uh, bars. And to make the yellow crystals, it is either the organic recipe, which I've been collecting all those leaves and twigs and things for, and or the very intensive petroleum recipe, which includes plastic, uh, refined oil, and water. So we're going to have to do probably a setup of both for a tiny bit. So that's one crystal. We also need to make the other crystal. Oh, and by the way, when you click on something, you can see some of the recipes that have them. It's a sort of an FNEI. But if something has more than four recipes or more than three, you can't tell if there's five or, or ten or four. Which I hope they change this and improve it so you can see all the recipes. That would be so, so nice. Okay, um, the other crystal is these, uh, they're just diamonds and they come from graphite. I think if there's another alternate recipe, oh, there it is, yes. You can get them from kimberlite ore and that's, but that's another rare resource that we don't have access to, but we may find some in the future. So, um, I guess we can do the easy part first. Let's just start easy and we'll start mining this coal and turn it into graphite. Now, in... For the most part, I just want discrete kinds of uh, stations uh, for all of this. You can think of it as kind of like an outpost in Factorio where you just tap, um, you know, you, you have an outpost for every different product. And I think that's a pretty good way of approaching this uh, because a main bus doesn't really work that well that I've found. But I mean, other people may have success with this, but I think it's actually a different kind of a game where you don't need a main bus at all. So we're going to kind of like outpost all the things. That's I think what we're kind of aiming for. So let's get this going and we're going to just connect all these, these things together so that we can get some diamonds made. This one, because it's always one away. Okay, good. All right, good. Very good. Good, 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 good. And we shall get some power poles here. This is a nice place to have some wind power as well. Uh, but I think, let's see, do we have big power poles? We have a couple. These are so nice. They stretch for such a long distance. So, oh, this is perfect. This is actually perfect. There we go. All right. Um... Let me see what we got here. Hold the wheel to rotate the camera. Why did I just get that? That was so strange. Like, hello game, don't you know I've already done this? <laughs> All right, um, let's see. Let's find out what the ratio for these guys is to turn into thingies. To turn into, I think we can smelt them directly into diamonds. Yes, smelting facility. So one graphite into one diamond. Now, these need two coal to become a graphite. And it takes two seconds. So that's eating uh, one coal per second. And that gives us half a belt of graphite. So this is a, this belt is how many items a second? 12 a second. So let's see, we can do, this is seven veins, seven, 14, uh, 20. Wait, but this was a six, yeah. 20 and then 26 uh, and 30, 33. 33 so let's 22 is 16 smelters but we only have a belt that goes to 12 however i think we're going to plan for 16 anyway uh, because we're going to get faster belts very shortly so let's do that and get things on the road that way i think that's a better a good idea or a decent idea anyway let's see we're going to make graphite here Oopsies. No, no, no. Hello. There you go. Yeah, better. Copy paste. And now we're going to copy these guys. One, four. And we'll get our thing here. And I do want to get the belts going because it does take the bots a tiny bit to place the belts. There we are. Not 
Nope, we're run out of items. Okay, let's go shop at the mall and pick up some items that we need. We can also return these sorters. Get a refund. And maybe they'll upgrade it to a better product. <laughs> Alright, uh, mall is here. Hello, thank you for the research. Nice. Let's see, these were sorters. So we'll put these back in this box. And I think we have enough. 209, that's okay. That seems all right. But we can get rid of the nine. Put those back and then just get some belts. And then of course get the things we need to get. I do want some chips here. And landfill. I'm thinking we might want to have a tiny bit of that because of the, the coal mine being so close to the, the water, we couldn't actually get all of it there. So let's get some wind thingies, wind plants, and get some power poles. That I find funny. When you, sh when you shift click those, pardon me, I had, had a tiny burp there. I didn't say a bad word. I was just, yeah, never mind. inconvenienced by the system. Um, yeah, when you shift click them and your inventory is not open, it just puts them on the cursor, which I find kind of strange, but that's okay. These guys don't seem to be working. What are we lacking? That motors, missing motors. And that is because... This belt has nothing to do with motors. How did that happen? This is very, very not correct. Not correct at all. Why? Oh, I didn't connect it. There we are. Okay, well, let's fix it. Let us fix this, because it seems inconvenient. Come on, there we go. Get those motors made. All right, that is better already. And that means we were lacking some belts there, or belt production anyway. Okay, we have the smelters now. Do we need anything else? I think I would like to build some oil refineries as well. I don't think we have those in the mall yet, uh, but that is something that I would like to set up. Uh, let's see, we need one oil extractor. And how do I make these? I need coils. Do I have any of those? I have a lot of glass. I don't know why. I have tons of glass, though. Let's go ahead and put some back in here. So I don't feel like I need all of that. And I do have some of that um, graphene on us, and we definitely don't need that. Uh, here's our coils. Let's add 200. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll take another 200, because we're going to make several of these oil plants and chemical facilities. So we're going to need... Let's see... Oil refineries. Do I have any of these buildings, by the way? I have 18 chemical plants and four refineries. That is actually a good number. I like this. That seems good. Uh, fractionators. Oh, I would love to make one of those. Or 20. I can make 20? Oh, that's great. You know what? I'm going to make 10. I'm going to make 10. 10 fractionators right now. Because life is better with fractionators. Okay, we're going to continue running off of graphene while we're here, but as we go to other planets, we're going to start using our hydrogen fuel rods. Um, I'm not using a lot of them right now because I want to kind of save on the t titanium. Okay, hello? Bots? There you are. Keep working, my little bots. Keep going. I think we said we had enough for 16, so that is 8 and 2. So we want to have 12 and 4. So there we have... Three and four and two. Another two on the end because that's how far the power pole stretches. And that will give us our 16 to make the, up the 32 uh, items per second eventually. Now this, this whole thing is not going to work. We know this because our belt only transports 12 items per second and we actually need 16. But we are aware of this. We're just planning for the future because that's what we do in KOS land. Uh, we always love past KOS when she thinks of future KOS. It's great. She really appreciates stuff like this.
right, there we go. Making all the graphite. Oh, okay. But we don't care. All right, very nice. Beautiful. Okay, next thing. Uh, diamonds are made in smelters as well. How many graphite do we need per diamond? We want to find that out. Okay, it's one to one, taking two seconds. Wow, okay. So these could actually technically feed... Um, direct feed into a machine to make diamonds. You know what? I'm going to do it that way. Jeez, I, sh I should have looked at that first. And, but we're going to just delete this and call it good. I wonder if I added the machine here, if that would work. That's too close. Hmm. No, I don't think so. I think we're going to have to replace them. That's okay, though. It will be fine. Can I make that this close? I don't think so, but let's see. Nope. All right, we got those engines, which is extremely nice. All right, that was beautiful. That's a nice little sound. I, I think that might be one of the new sounds that the devs talked about. Uh, they added some the other day and they are, they added another bug fix today as I was playing, I noticed, it was cool. And another reason I chose this area specifically is that there are other coal veins here. Oopsies, hello. Okay, there we go. There's another coal vein here and there. So whenever we run out of stuff, we have plenty, 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 plenty to, um, to have more. Uh, in case we run out. So that's something that's a nice kind of, um, you know, quality of life thing that you can do for yourself. Okay, these are, these are graph lines, aren't they? <laughs> it's because we are getting closer to the South Pole this time and the lines aren't quite lining up, but it's just fine. It works. All right, let's go. And then these guys need to output to a, another belt on this uh, latitude line here. And I might, let's see, the yellow science is composed of both crystals. So what I might do is just put it here and have it meet in the middle and have it go up to the science area. In any case, if we change our minds, it's, it's fine. We can just redo it. It doesn't really matter. It's not that critical. Um, but I do need to start putting these sorters down, inserters, whatever you want to call them where the belts actually exist instead of where they don't exist because my little bots have not placed them and you can't place stuff if it doesn't uh, connect with anything. It's like you can't place things toward the grass. You see, it, no valid connection. So it definitely checks and making sure that you're on the right track there. Okay. Wait, one thing I didn't check. Oh no. Yeah, these are two seconds. I was like, oh, wait a second. What if they're not two seconds? <laughs> then I would be like, you know what, everyone? We made another mistake. No, but we're fine now. We're good. We are actually good. This is fine. And we're getting things done. Direct feed is great. Yay, energy storage. Ray. That means we can build accumulators, which can be good for storing solar energy. If you have blackout parts of your day, which I have carefully avoided. Um, yeah, let's see. So um, what I want to do is I want to build this matrix somewhere. Um, and I think I need to get some more science labs because we don't have any. I don't know why I failed to bring them, but I did. I was like, huh, no, nah, I'm not going to build any science buildings. Who needs those? Okay, 20. That seems like enough. will be nice when we finally get more speed and stuff too. That's going to be pretty darn snazzy. Okay, I think we'll build them here. We'll have a couple of labs lined up here. Where did they go? Research. There we are. And I think I want one belt on each side. Just have them here. 
And we can have them just... Uh, yeah, one right after the other. That's Oh, no. You know what? what's better? I th Well, I guess it doesn't matter where the power poles are. We have plenty, plenty of space, so I am not worried about this in the least. There's one. Here we have our... This is going to be our stuff coming in, and I think we're going to delete this. We're going to change the direction a tiny bit. I thought we were going to have the labs maybe further up, but I decided against. So this is our new plan. Have them here and connect to there. And there we go, diamonds. All right, let's change this to yellow. And this one too, change to yellow, please. All right. Now we also wanna have another belt, probably, I don't know, it can be either side, maybe just this side. Cause it might be, well, or space saving, we'll go this side go this side. So these are going to be the output lines for this stuff. So take that one away. All right. Grabbing stuff in, grabbing stuff in, and output. This is output, input, and input. All right. Now let's go ahead and stack these a bit. Here we are sense not to build them as high as possible. Oopsies. Don't want them there. That was a tiny, tiny mistake. Okay, so these are going to fill up from there. And that's the easy, that's the easy part. Uh, let me just go ahead and fill these up on the coal that I had in excess. There we go. And then, you know what? I'll fill these up in the graphite I have in excess because I don't need this graphite anymore. Uh, all right, go, go, go. Take, take, take. The, I think one of the frustrating things for me is that these guys take such a small stack of graphite. Like, I would love to be able to put the whole stack in there, but no, it's not a thing. It takes in a small amount uh, from the belt naturally, which I, I love that feature because it's very like Fractoria where it only takes in two times the amount uh, for crafting. But... <laughs> Not being able to put in a lot when you need to dump stuff off is like, I wish it was different. <laughs> Help, please. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We have our crude oil seep over here. And I think we'll put our refineries going this direction, maybe. Uh, left to right. Um, because, of course, the whole it's better left to right thing. And I want to build... No, it's mining. Mining. Forget about that. I always forget about that. I don't know why. So mining here. Okay, so we have this thing. And we need to make... The, the main products we need to make are these crystals. So for that, we need plastic and refined oil. And then for plastic, we need graphite. And we need some refined oil. So we're going to need to share the oil between the crystals and the plastic. So we're going to have a splitter for that. I think, and then, uh, let's see. We need, we need to have some more graphite again, and I think we'll just, do we have more coal to the left of here? Yeah, we have some right here, actually. Oh, and another crude oil seep. This is actually great to have many of these crude oil things so that we can fill the belt and make sure that we can have enough production. So I'm quite happy about that. Let me get, okay, we need to have our, Ah, we can set up our fractionators as well up here if we want to. Oh, the fractionators are great because we can get some deuterium. Good deuterium is good stuff. Uh, all right. How do we want to do this? I think we can do this where we have all the products on the inside. I know that that is a favored method of doing things for people, some people. What I want to do, though, is make sure that I can get a belt in here. I could add the, I know what I'm going to do. I know. Okay. Uh, this is going to work really nicely. So let's get uh, our oil plants here. Let's leave a little bit of space at the beginning and then just add plant after plant and make sure we have our power poles. That's important. I was, uh, not always, but I sometimes forget that and that is not ideal. 
So let's see, we want to choose our recipe so we don't forget. And we do want to have the plasma refining. That That is our choice for this section here because we're just doing regular oil uh, processing. Okay, there we go. And power pull, yes. Now I'm not sure how much, how much, um, how much we're going to be able to have here. The, the question for me is always like, how much oil per second is this going to do? 2.2 .2 per second. Is that for real or is that actually a thing? So this one needs, let's see, in four seconds, it'll do two. So we can have four machines running off of this one thing. So I'm thinking maybe we need to get the other oil extractors, I don't know, pushed in quite, quite early on this. Because if we have eight up here, we need, we need to go and get more oil. Let's go get the other oil. Here's one up here. Let's see how much we can get from this one. Okay, this one has no power and it's 1.52 per second. Ugh, that's not a lot at all. That's a bit, it's a bit scary how little that is actually. Let's see, is there more? And I want to make one more thing, one more extractor. Can I? Yay, I can. I can make four. I'll make two. Let's see, where do we have another one? There's one down there, one up here. There's one, oh, it tells us. This one is two per second, and that one is 1.13. Oh, that's not a lot. No, it's not a lot. Why? Why are you so chintzy game in giving us good oil? Hello, please. Okay, it's fine though. We're not going to complain about this. We're just going to take what we can get here all right let's see how i can i want to feed this array and at the moment we're nowhere near our 12 per second that we can have with this belt and later of course we might upgrade it to 30 per second once we get the higher level belts but i think we're not gonna have a lot here so let's take this and go, let's go there and then down maybe. Go across that lake. Out of building range, why? Oh, that's out of building range, I see. Okay, let's see, that will fit there. And then this one will go over here. Okay. Also, someone asked me, and this was a really good question, I guess, um, why I had this long belt, this one, to take, or the, the one taking the, um, the uh, graphene up here. And they said, why didn't you just use the planetary logistics thing? And I replied because it's a constant thing that you need to keep transporting. And because the planetary logistics system actually is, is a huge draw on power. Uh, so if it's something, I tend to use a, lo, the logistics for things that's very precious. Or if it's, you know, very, 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 very far. Or if there's too much congestion with belts, that's kind of an important thing as well. So um, otherwise, just be aware that, you know, the logistics system isn't free. You have to use a lot of energy. And one of the cool things about this game is that energy is really a problem that needs to be solved. It is not easy peasy. Like Factorio, I think that energy is, it's super easy. It's not, it's not a challenge. You can easily fix that problem at any time, anywhere, any, any date, any whatever. It's not hard. It is like once you get, you know, um, solar panels, you can just spam them everywhere. Once you get um, nuclear, your problems are over once you get nuclear. It is not even, you know, a thing. So, oops, I need to get more energy. Apparently, I don't have anything left. 
Uh, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna burn some you know, logs. This is so silly. Actually, I could burn this graphene. That, that burns. But I'm gonna go and uh, I'd rather save the logs for other stuff. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay, apparently graphene doesn't have a lot of energy. Let's see if I can keep on going. Jeez, this, this burns very slowly as well. I wonder if I can get some oil and burn that. Is there any oil on the pelt? Oh no, we don't have any power yet. Oh dear. Oh no. Do leaves have power? Yes. Okay, leaves. Jeez, this is bad. <laughs> No, I can't believe I ran out of energy. This is not good at all. But I think we can grab some oil. Maybe? Hello? Bots? No. 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 Please. Okay. I'm gonna have to really gonna get another tree. Oh, this is so slow. Look at how slow the tree is being chopped. <laughs> I don't think I have anything else that's actually burnable. No. Oh. This is... Yeah, I should have grabbed those hydrogen fuel rods. I didn't expect to run out so soon of the other stuff. Alright, let's use this. Let's... Hello? Bots? Where are you? Where? No. Alright, well down here we have plenty of coal and graphene as well. I wonder if diamonds can be used. Oh, they do. They have 900 kilojoules. And how much do these have? 6.3 megajoules. All right, so I'm going to take these and put those in my fuel tank. There we go. And we're going to go and grab our hydrogen thingies. Oops, we can't really fly right now because we're not recharged. Oh, this is like the walk of shame, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez. It's okay, though. We're, we're, we're making tracks. We're doing the Iron Man competition. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. All right. Yay. Anyway, let's take these. <laughs> Refuel on proper things for once. Yes. Okay. Good. Oh, no. Okay, we don't have any flying energy yet, but we are recharging quite quickly, so I'm happy about that. And we should be able to get some of this stuff done. Come on. Let's go. Let's fly. Yes. Okay. Very good. At least we'll be able to get our bots going, and that's going to take a bit of energy as well from us. But what I want to do is, I think we can do having all of these belts in the same lineup here. So let's just get these put down while I kind of try to recharge my suit here. And then here, we're going to do the same thing right here. It's a little bit off, but I think it should be okay. Okay. And I guess that's all we can hope for, pretty much. Okay, so let's get this one from there. And then this one from there. And then we'll output hydrogen. Let's see, we have two items. We have hydrogen coming in. We'll put hydrogen in the middle. And then, can we do this actually with these? Being on the outside like this? Yes, we can. That's right. I think, I think so. Let's see, we need to have a... No, I don't think we can actually. I think they need to be... I think this needs to be a different uh, setup. I don't think we can do all three in the middle. So I think what I'll do is put the inputs in the middle and then split... Or, I mean, put the outputs in the middle and split the other parts. So let's get rid of this for now and move this set of machines. Yeah. It's a funny little sound. I kind of like it. All right. 
Let's get these machines out. And I might need more space so we have a splitter. Or we can just use our fancy dancy mega splitters, which is fine too. So these are going to be located here. Let's go up against that thing first. Collides with another object. It's great. Not great. Oh, we, have, we ended up having a little bit of extra space here. It's interesting. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. What are my bots doing? Hello? <laughs> you guys, where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, let's put in our... Let's see. Yep, this goes there. And this one goes... There. And this one goes fuel and output fuel. Oh no. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So let's copy the sorter for... What is this? This is the... Yeah, that's that one. Okay. The hydrogen one first. Oh, no, that's wrong. Okay. Well, let's copy the others. Okay, this is for fuel. There we go. They are very weirdly aligned, I have to say, these machines, but as long as it works, right? But that's something that we can't really control, uh, ultimately. Oops, something's gone very wrong here. So I need to remove this one, I think, because that one needs the space for the fuel. So let's go here. Yes. Okay, very good. And then lower. That's fine. Let's figure that one first and then that one. Okay, very good. Okay, so we have this going. And let's grab... The inputs are going to be split. Um, we'll take this one. Just go like this along the whole way. And then, since I don't have room for a proper splitter, we're just going to use this. And this is going to work fine anyway. We'll just use a Sorter Mark III, and it should give enough throughput, I think. If we need extra throughput, we can always delete the first couple of machines. And then we just uh, add a um, the regular splitter machine. Okay, here we go. Come on, bots. We need you. There we go. Okay. Now then, I want to take power to the furthest reaches of the Earth. Okay, one goes up there. We may need to try to build some more of these guys. Okay, this one doesn't quite reach there, so we'll just use a small power pull to reach. But otherwise, the bots will help us build all this fun stuff. I think we're going to need to go shopping for belts soon if we don't have enough. Come on, guys. Build, 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 please. Let's go. Oh, this one taking up the tower. Yes. Very, very good. Okay, and then we just need this one. Okay, excellent. This one also does not have power, so let's take one more pull this way. Let's see as far as we can go. No, nope. there we go. That's it. That's all we got. So I think I'll just take the rest with uh, power pulls in this direction. Oh, that's wow. That's nice. That 
I guess you could alternate with one of those poles and one of these poles to go further. Bots, let's go. Okay, so we should have oil coming in from all quarters now. Oh, this is great. Look at this. Oh, I love this. This is fun. This is fun. Okay, so we now have stuff going on. Hey, this is great, great, great. Um, and now. I think what I want to do is I want to build my fractionators to deal with that hydrogen. And we're going to get some deuterium from that. That is going to be pretty darn cool. I do want to see if we have any, um, oh gee, what do you call it? If we have any liquid tanks. And let's see, do we need oil here? No, I want to see if I can put the oil in these refineries. Wow, we had such a small setup over here. What happened? Oh no, this looks so unkos like. Who built this? <laughs> Shock surprise. Oh my gosh. I. Okay, um, let's see. In container land, we have three liquid containers, so that's perfect. Uh, I want to grab these belts because that was what we were really lacking. Okay, and I'll just grab them all because you never know how many you're going to need. And the inserters as well would be nice. Hello? Oh yes, inserter land is right by belt land. Why, why would I expect anything else? Okay, let's go back. And uh, these fuel packs last a long time. They're quite nice. The, uh, the hydrogen ones and the, the deuteron ones are s even better. They are just amazingly good. I love doing those and we can actually, we may be able to get those. Let's see. No, I think we need um, one more. Oh, nice. Hooray. You should be able to clearly see it right now. Yeah, the sun was up. Speaking of, our swarm is generating 36 megawatts right now. This is fantastic. I wonder how much we're using right now. Okay, we are using uh, 33 megawatts, so we are actually doing really good on energy. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Very, very good. Okay, so next part of this is let's build our fractionators. I would like to do that. I um, would like a long stretch like here. That would be a good spot. And this is kind of a funny thing that enables us to get deuterium. And what you want to do is ideally you have the fastest belts. But I don't... Oh, we can make them. <gasps> we can make these. Oh my god, we're going to make them. Because when you have the fractionators, the belt speed very much matters. Because as the... There's no apparent craft time for fractionating things. So... Uh, the faster the belt, the faster the things happen. Why are there so few of these? Hello? Hello? Why are there no motors? Hmm. This is not ideal. I think, I think what we need to do here is something different. We need to do, um, this. We need to have... Hello? Oh, yeah, wrong item. Wrong item. What I want to do is change this. We want to fill the box first and then send it to other stuff. Hello? Oh, wrong thing. There we go. Nope, this is not wanting to work at all. Oh, that's the wrong direction. Silly KOS. There we go. Better. Okay, is this functioning well? Okay, it seems to be missing uh, motors. That seems to be where it's having a tiny shortfall. Ah, because a lot of them are going out 
that way to make other things. I see. Okay. Uh, well, it'll just have to catch up to us, I guess. All right. I think we can make... Let's see. We can probably handcraft a few of these belts, maybe, if I go and grab some graphene. Uh, that is one thing I did forget to do, is put a box for this graphene. And I would love to do that right now. Because I want them. And I want to change this. We don't really need that right now. Because we can always split it right from the tank. It has four output ports. So, yeah. Not necessary to be there. So let's have a bit of graphene for us to pick up later for handcrafting. And five, maybe? Sure. And then this will just connect back. All right, cool. So let's see what we can do here with this. Oh, and we, yeah, all the stuff. Every time I pick up stuff, I'm so grateful they have that uh, control click thing uh, it, that enables you to just like put in whatever the recipe is in there. As in, you know, if you have any uh, graphite or sulfuric acid, if you control click, it just goes in. See, do I have any? I have more. Yep, there goes the graphite. Hooray. And it enables you to kind of like put your inventory, dump it into a place where it's actually going to be useful instead of just in a random box that you're going to delete later. All right, buildings. We need these. Can we make... Uh, we can't make that many of them. Oh, we can make 35, which is 100 belts, which actually might be enough. It really might be enough. Ooh, that's tasty. What do we need for this? <laughs> That's the funniest thing ever. We need graphite. <laughs> okay, we'll take some graphite from these machines. Sure, we'll just steal it. Steal it straight away. That was funny. That was actually great. And now what are we missing? Oh, engines and stuff. Okay, it's fine. Oh, I'm just going to leave that there. We'll see if 100 is enough. It should be plenty for what we're doing here. Um. All right, so... We have the fractionator machines and deuterium is a key component in deuteron uh, thingies, which are going to help us fly better, but also a uh, key component in other stuff that we really need. So I think what we're going to do is have these guys here, maybe have like a coastal, beautiful kind of, yeah, set up here. And then I think we'll put the deuterium that way. Yeah. Okay. Let's get our research. No, 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 no. Production. There we go. Fractionators. All right. We'll set, set it up here. I think. Yeah. There we go. These guys you can put as close as you want. Fractionator, which can randomly fractionate several. There we go. I just thought of something. I want to just conserve belts so I can, what I can do is put one on each side. And that is going to look like this instead. Yeah, that's fine if I have them here. And let's add the belt in the middle. Now the belt in the middle doesn't have to be fast because the amount of uh, deuterium you get is very small in general. Yeah, there we go. There we go. What you want to do here is have a nice little loop and just have the fastest belts available because of the no craft time thing. And that will get you what you really want to do here. So let's see. Let's get our belt going on this way. Oh dear. What is it doing? No, 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 no. Bad. Bad. No. Belt, please. Down to ground. Zero. There we go. 
Now it's trying to link things up. These things kind of are a little bit, I don't know, pesky, but it's fine. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to connect the fractionators together. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of tail belt in here so that we can add hydrogen to the process. But otherwise, you just link them together like this. Oh, there's one missing a belt there. Hello. There we are. And oh, hello, please. There we go. Okay. And then we can have another insertion point there if we need to, but we don't really need to at the moment. And there. Okay, perfect. We are all ready to go then. And we'll just get some power. These things take a tiny bit of power. Let's see, and they don't have really great radii for placing power poles, alas. But it's okay. As long as we can fit it, it'll be fine. Okay. This is excellent. And for now, what I want to do is I'm going to put this deuterium in a tank. There we go. We'll add this there and then add tank right off to the side here. All right. All right. And we're going to need a ton of this later. It is part of high tech science. And yeah, you need a lot of it. So let's go ahead and connect our um, our hydrogen for now. And let, we'll, we can we can move the belt if we need it later. But for now, I think we're okay. Just oopsies. Nope. There we go. And insertion point. Let's go. Let's go, bots. We want to see this work. Come on. There we go. There we go, deuterium ho. Woohoo. All right, there it goes. And these things, what they do is you have a percentage chance, a 1% chance to get deuterium instead of hydrogen. So they're kind of like, sort of like a particle smashery thing, but they just hopefully get this thing going. What what is this here? Is that actually slower? Hold on. I think it changed the speed. Okay, there it goes. That's much better. Um, but the way this works is if you put slow belts here, the um, the little atoms, they stay in here for longer and it takes another one almost to kick them out. So that's why you want to have uh, the fastest belt possible is because you're just constantly shoving them out. And as you see, we are getting a little bit of deuterium here. Oh, look at this. This is fantastic. We're getting a consistent supply. And once we're able to finish off these other products here or use the petroleum or the um, refined petroleum here, then we'll be able to um, keep that going more often and add to that cycle and get even more deuterium. But in any case, we have a really good start on yellow science. I'm really happy with our progress and hopefully we're going to get the other crystal in the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time. <laughs>